All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is, Do You Get Caught Up in Fitness Trends? And this just kind of came to me because I've been working out through my entire life and I've seen so many different kind of trends, you know, throughout my life. And what's amazing to me is how I've seen people throughout my life that have kind of maneuvered and have gone from kind of one trend to the next as far as fitness goes. It could even include dance. It can include aerobics. It can can include, you know, many different things that have gone on in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, everything from CrossFit to, you know, I mean, we could go on and on. I don't care if it's Zumba with dance or if it's, you know, bodybuilding or, you know, even things that are have been around forever, like running becomes a hot topic or a trend. And then before you know it, like now they're opening crew crew locations and then Orange Theory say cycling is kind of a new hot thing. And so what I've kind of realized about myself is I've been very traditional on one end when it comes to fitness. It's mainly bodybuilding and lifting weights. But I've kind of incorporated many different style workouts with my weights, if that makes sense. Many different type of uh, routines, different ways of doing things in different gyms. I've also liked following the trend of different style gyms as long as it was kind of hardcore bodybuilding to a certain degree or just weights in general as time went on. Because I started off like a lot of people I think in the 60s and 70s in the YMCA. And then I kind of moved into civic centers kind of because I was from Chicago and then I kind of, you know, went a little more hardcore into kind of independent gyms uh, that were just mainly bodybuilding gyms, which would, you know, be mainly in Florida, actually. And then I started to dabble in the Gold's Gym and World's Gym and Powerhouse. Uh, and then I went on to 24 Hour Fitness, let's say, LA Fitness. I'm just fast forwarding. There was a lot of gyms in between there. New gyms that are coming out that have different style equipment, much more modern, that have a lot more, you know, things for me, like having the pool inside there, jacuzzi, sauna, kind of upgrading myself too. And, you know, I think that's what's kept me in the game. And you may be somebody who, and this may sound crazy because I'm usually like, when I talk to a lot of people, if you get caught, I, I talk about a lot, set the trend, don't follow them. But if you're somebody maybe who has a hard time working out, you kind of may want to jump on the trend a little bit to kind of get things going, having some fun. Because, you know, I think people a lot of times frown upon other people that are kind of trying a lot of different things. Like if you get boxed in, you're like, I'm a yoga girl or guy. I do yoga. I mean, do a little CrossFit, but I'm yoga. Okay, I just lift weights. All right, cool. Like me, I lift weights and swim and do some crew, elliptical, whatever. But that's inside the gym, not outside. But my point being is, you know, like, if, I don't know if you've been around a while watching fitness, so CrossFit was the hot thing for a while. And that's one thing that I didn't like because it was just a little too extreme and my tendons and joints are destroyed. But I saw a lot of people, even middle-aged, jump into CrossFit that weren't working out previously. And I'm like, good for you. For some reason, they gravitated towards that. That may be something you should consider if you're thinking about getting in shape. And I'm not saying CrossFit. I'm just saying something that's new, hip, and modern. And I don't care what age you are either. Because I think, too, a lot of people have tried numerous things in the past, and it just hasn't worked out. You may have tried bodybuilding or lifting weights. You didn't like it. You may have gone to a couple yoga classes. Ah, you're bored. Pilates. Oh, my, you know, I'm not down with that either. Okay, what, what else would you like? Swimming. Well, my shoulder hurts. I don't like the above water. Well, how about underwater? No, that's, you know, I can't listen to music and I get bored. I don't like jumping in the pool. They're dirty. You know, there's always these things, but there are new trends coming out that you may actually gravitate toward. And here's the thing, a lot of times, even though it's a trend, it may come in and out. You can do it forever a lot of times, as long as it's not something like that you need all this type of equipment or something. Uh, But for the most part, if you took CrossFit, how popular it was for a while, and it still is. But say CrossFit kind of gets weeded out and something else comes, you know, you still have all the knowledge and you'll be able to do a lot of those exercises in many different gyms. So it's not like you have to quit CrossFit and then go into something something else you can kind of carry it through but back to 
you know, maybe trying something new that you've never tried before or never considered. Because I do think a lot of people get fatigued with fitness, uh, just not liking it because of one reason or another. And it's really because of their history. I think they're just kind of burnt out on the same type of shit. Even though there are different gyms for the most part and different equipment, it's still the same thing. I used to have an uncle that said, I don't know how you lift weights. It bores me to death, right? And I used to look at him and go, how do you sit in front of a television for hours? That bores me to death. We had two different, you know, looks at it. But what was interesting is I can still sit and watch TV, of course. But when I do lift weights sometimes, I think to myself, I really like this. But man, this could be boring if I did it. Like just making these movements, spending all this time doing this. And it's just interesting to take somebody else's perspective. But anyways, it's, I'm going to wrap it up with... Uh, just try something new. And I like going to new, you know, different style gyms. But if you don't like gyms, and I talk about, I don't care what it is. If you want to go, you know, uh, you know, hiking, you want to go swimming, you want to do whatever. Find what you love to do. But if you haven't been able to do that, maybe find something that is new and kind of trendy. And again, it can be, you got to realize too, a lot of gyms have these different type of things that they're doing inside of there that you didn't know about before that may be a lot funner especially if you're older even if like you didn't like you know you like to be in the water but you didn't like to swim you can do them water aerobics there's so many classes you could take too I think before like a lot of old timers they think jazzercise or or they go in there and they're doing zamba or zumba I can't even I screwed up but they're too advanced for you they have other classes you can do in there that help with your coordination there's just a lot out there. Just kind of do some research. And in this case, kind of jump on a trend because it may be something that you've never even thought about that could be fun. You're with a lot of different type of people. And then see what's kind of coming up next as far as that goes too to kind of keep things going. You may be one of those people who just need to kind of be in the know and kind of do you know something unique and something fun. So you got any questions or comments, you can hit me up at... Uh, my email, actually, rich at richchalenza.com. Uh, my website's richchalenza.com. And uh, I love corresponding with different people. And I am going to officially wrap it up with this. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of doing different things, especially when it comes to health and wellness. Try something new. And if you are doing something, you're bored or you're miserable, don't be afraid to break away from it and try something new. Even if your identity is wrapped up with, if you have a workout partner or you go to certain classes and you're just sick of it and you want to do something new, go do it. You know, sometimes we just stay at a place for too long doing the same thing over and over again and we're just not also getting the results you desire. We want to make sure whatever you're doing, especially with fitness, is you're getting the results you desire. If you're just going through the motions uh, and you're not getting much out of it, you know, just it, it doesn't mean that you have to jump ship entirely on what you're doing. But again, try something new. And again, it could be something, it could be as simple as you trying going to the ocean and maybe you've surfed before, but maybe uh, you haven't done it for a long time. You can try a different type of surfboard or you can just go in the ocean and try, what's that, paddle boarding. Maybe you can just do, run in the ocean. Whatever it is, maybe there's you know something new that you've never tried that is something that you still miss or it's something that you're kind of doing, but it's, it's kind of a different form of it. Hope that helps. All right. Take care and I wish you nothing but the best.